Shanghai keeping up the win rate. Trick of China. Oh, oh, oh. beautiful. I think Queen Knight is second in the East Asia, and uh, same with us. So we can win the Queen Knight. Ridiculous stuff there from Trick of China. They make it look easy. The shots are raining down. Is it going to be enough? One, two, from the oh. <laughs> This is a fantastic game type for Queen Knights. They're best. They're 13 and 5 on it right now. And Teddy, we know Shooting Star needs plenty of sharpshooters. Exactly. Shooting Star is one of the maps where the brawler pool is uh, the, the more traditional, right? You have three, four brawlers you see pretty much all the time. Nani, uh, probably Piper or Bell. You can kind of change them. And then you can go for either a drawer such as Stick, maybe even uh, a Sprout, or you can go Brock and go for the destruction. So you don't have that many different brawlers that come and play, and that is going to simplify things quite a bit with the nerves high and all that stuff. At least you have to focus just a little bit less on, you know, creating those comps. And I'm very curious to see how these, the bands that we'll see in a moment are kind of catered towards this map pool, because in the previous series we saw, you know, um, Lola banned, but a lot of mech being played in the, the, those side lanes anyway, where there was sort of uh, you know, whether it was on Siege or we even saw it on Gem Grab there. So here are our bands. So both teams ban this dude. They don't want to deal with it. Lola's out of the picture. And they get the, the, the vibes going. It's a whole other story. But here we are ready to get started. Queen Nai versus Trick of China. And we already have quite a bit of aggression here from Queen Nai going for that blue star early on and taking the early lead. The pressure from Menmi is intense early on. The last hurrah had to be used there by Good Knight to just survive the scrutiny from the Nani across the map. Queen Knight put their best fit fo foot forward, excuse me, early. And with that blue star, like you said, Teddy, the peep comes across the map and White has to back up. Almost gets clipped. Yeah, it's a dangerous situation, but the kill comes oh. through. Actually, another one from White on uh, the, the left side happens as well. That's going to be still the one starting in favor of Queen Knight, but... At least the gap isn't too wide just yet. Still about a minute left on the clock for a Trick of China to find any opportunities. Good start here for Queen Nia, though. It got a little bit messy. Enemy has another peak available. Tries to return to center and White goes low, but still having to get away with that kill. Him forced to do the same, but he can't shrug off the damage from Dempsey. Trick of China. It's an even Stevens game until just then. Menmi finds a crucial pick off on White. Blue star and three stars on top of that. A peach crossover, but of course it's time for some return to center tennis. Wow, almost picks up the kill, but barely survives. Important stars to keep here. And that would actually have been enough to give back the lead to Trick of China. 30 seconds left on the clock. And Trick of China need to start aggressing a bit more. They need to find some opportunities to frag. They get real help moving forward, but should get dealt with quite easily. Waste for the ammo, actually. 12 seconds, a nice sprout. We're gonna be blocking some axes on the left-hand side. Try to funnel them into a predictable position. Five more seconds. No eliminations coming true, though, except for Queen Nye as they take game number one. Yeah, fantastic stuff there from Queen Nye. Great opening. Look, you know, the Nani play obviously is quite fascinating. Uh, there to sort of see that play out. A lot of return to sender usage. But Kenji on the Sprout is actually able to sort of every now and then duck into the middle bush and just refresh that photosynthesis shield, making himself much more durable than, you know, like a Sprout playing like a, a, an open middle position would otherwise be. Look really hard to try and sort of, you know, get meaningful damage, I think, on Queen Knight for much of that round. Yeah, they, they, they had a bit of a tough time. I mean, Thing is here as well, and we saw that a lot, especially in the, the trick of China have to get a little more aggressive here. Look, they're going over towards a Brock pick here, Kenji, toward the max. Man, I love those changes here from Queen Nai. You know, teams sometimes will tend to get a little bit comfortable after they win the first game, stick to the same calm, go for minor adjustment if need be. Here, bringing in the max and the gene, that's a very, very big change, and I'm all down to see it. So far, Blue Star picked up by Queen Nye, gonna be giving them the lead uh, for now, but we do have that rocket fuel ready to go. It's not gonna find a connection inside. Instead, it's gonna be Menmi to find a kill on Good Night, and Queen Nye start things off with the lead once more. 
Oh, this is bad for Trick of China. The fact that you already have a lead before the first magic pan comes in. Menmi didn't even have to use a super to secure a lead. Queen Knight picked up the blue star to start with, and Kenji, who's supposed to be the safe lane, is playing awfully aggressively. He does concede the blue star, but there's another lead for Queen Knight now, and they keep this forward position going. Yeah, that movement speed has been pumped, trying to sink that with a Jean Pool. Moving forward, doesn't need it to take down the Piper to low HP. That's a nice thing with Jean as well. You can get some easy, consistent tags from afar. Impossible to, to dodge if you're in range. And that's already 11 stars secured by Queen 9. Only the three for Trick of China. They are far behind and have a lot of catching up to do so far. Doesn't seem to be happening as Dempsey picks up yet another kill. Sitting on five stars right now. Kenji, fantastic stuff with the phase shifter. He actually used one of those gadgets to eat one of the peeps from Imp, so there was no chance for that Nani to try and bring things back. Here's another peep here. Kenji speed boost now to make sure it's going to be very hard to get purchased. And look at that. Speed boost means Queen Nai can dodge away from that Nani super. Kenji's able to dash out of trouble here. Constantly healed up by Dempsey. This is a masterclass by Queen Nai in this first set. What a dominant first set here from Queen Nai. Looking sharp so far and honestly most of it was just really good mechanics hitting their shots i mean comp wise it, it, it's hard uh w w with the max you know you you have the nanny heads that you can tank with a max you can dodge a lot of stuff go very fast help your teammates go very fast and dodge some of those sharpshooters so i think the match is they can't spend nearly as much time doing damage at all i just love the look from queen nai i think max gene is like really flexible yeah they can they yeah. can use the the speed in any way they like right if they're behind well magic hand speed forward make use of that if they're ahead they can use it to disengage whereas you know trigger trying to come out with three sharpshooters but pretty clear what they're trying to do it's a composition that really lacks utility all they're going to do is shooting people but that relies on their execution to be really solid so this makes me think that maybe this the understanding of the way queen and i like to play brawl stars is a little deeper so far trigger china a little uh, look, one-dimensional, uh, you know, I think on Bounty to start with here. And when you play Split, you really need... Your, I mean, you would literally have to be thinking in, in sort of uh, two halves on a map like this. I'm very curious to see what Trick are trying to have. Dot com. If you guys want to tell us uh, and predict, there's quite a bit of stuff you guys can win if you want to get that card cat burglar skin uh, for Jesse. We have our next game, though uber and it seems like we and i are starting off quite well with control of both sides of the map i mean many is just he's a slick operator i saw him vault there just to dodge one of the poco hits so he would stay alive it's a tough match up against imp of course many has the ability to really steal much of frank's life but I think that the, uh, the issue of the Poco is definitely going to be there. Menmi goes in, able to dodge a stunning blower. That was meant for Kenji, in fact. The Queen Knight have a fairly comfortable lead early here. They are forced away by the 2v1 on the left-hand side, but Dempsey's given quite the account of himself there, taking the 1v2 and coming out on top. Kenji with the blink to avoid the stunning blow. Looks sharp, and Imps able to take him out. Imp goes down to Menmi. And right now, Queen Knight... They actually have to capture some of both sides, which is not ideal. They have to split their resources. Can't just focus on one side, but 99%, and that's going to be it. Queen Knight take yet another game. That's three in a row. And so far, there's no stomping them, as Trick of China have yet to find an answer to all that aggression from Queen Knight. I mean, you're dead right. And not only are Queen Knight really aggressive, Teddy, they're really evasive as well. Right? You have, you know, have Edgar that's hard to hit at the best of times. It can vault sort of away or into the enemy back line to try and deal with Poco, for example. Uh, and then you've got Surge, who, who, who we saw aggressive blinks from the Surge there just to dodge whatever was coming in from the Frank. Queen Nye, we're not playing. Has exceptional games with hard carries and chain supers nonstop and then very underwhelming games. We have the Surge coming in on him this time around. We'll see if he's able to find a, a sweet TP. I do like Ruffs quite a bit on the left hand side. That can prov provide a lot of cover. TP in here from M does get shut down. A beautiful stun from Manmi uh, timed with Kenji. Good teamwork to just team up and take him down together. Yeah, I mean, Manmi. I'm surprised that, you know, Trick of China weren't expecting that because Memmi's not in a position right now where they can do damage. They, 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 they just can't. They're not nearly close enough to anyone. White and Dempsey are zoning each other for the most part here. You can see that both of them taking a licking. It's Kenji now. 
will have Omi. He has a heads available, but he's going to win that left-hand side fight out. And yeah, pop the pin. Why not? Because Queen Nye are all over this. Yeah, they need to get Genji out of that position. He's capturing way too much on the enemy side of the map. That's the harder part to capture. Obviously, with Sprout, we have this strategy that we see right now. Placing down those walls, it is a nightmare to deal with. But they have a Surge. Surge is on this map exclusively to counter either Rico with a TP or those throwers. I, I don't understand why he's not more aggressive on those TPs. Goes for it now. The auto aim not doing him a favor as he just shoots in the wrong direction. And look at that roll from Kenji. Wasting oh two TPs for, for him to get that kill. That's, that's a lot of utility out of the way. No more gadgets whatsoever for him. Memi wants to play aggressively here. One sweet dreams and it's going to be lights out for White. Who gets rid of Dempsey though? This is looking a little bit scary now. Trinket trying to have control of the right hand side of the map. And Imp and Goodnight are trying to literally hold down the fort for Queen Nye Exploder in that left hand side corner. And that'll have this left hand side secured entirely. There's nothing Trinket trying to do. White's trying to catch up, but he needs his teammates to stop the cap on the left hand side. And no, it is going to be Queen Nye. This is starting to look pretty darn one sided. We're already two sets in Teddy, and this Japanese squad are rising. Yeah, that's a great thing for Queen Eye as well, looking further than just this round of 16 match. We've talked about it, right? They had some uh, mediocre performances towards the end of the year. It wasn't looking that great on their side. But matches like this is where you gain some confidence back and they will need it further in the competition. Obviously, this match is far from being over just yet. But two sets in the bag now and they're starting to look real good, getting that confidence in. And honestly, so far... I want to be sort of making people fear going up against you here. But Queen Nye, I mean, Trigger China probably, I mean, you heard it in the interview. They said, I mean, they're number two. We think we've got these guys covered. Right now, I mean, these two teams are worlds apart, literally and figuratively, ladies and gentlemen. Queen Nye are just too good right now. And we're gonna enter Heist here, and it's gonna be the last chance for Trigger China to show us something special and get back in the series. Yeah, Pit Stop is definitely going to be an interesting map to do so, especially for those two teams, because we've seen, specifically for Queen Nye, but even on both sides, we've seen some, some Edgars, we've seen some Surges, some Brawlers that are really strong against Throwers, Throwers that thrive on Pit Stop. They're in a really good spot right now for, for, for this map. Uh, you know, I think that's uh, a big difference maker now. We're heading straight in, Teddy. It's time for Pit Stop. It's the third sit of Trek of China. They need a W badly. All right, we have some uh, interesting matchups. Spike on both sides, also roughs on both sides, and then the M's versus Rico making uh, the difference in this matchup. So far, this is the best situation Trick of Jana has been pretty much uh, in this entire match. A 12% lead here in, in highs to kick things off. Definitely a much better start, but they gotta keep it up. You know, White has definitely been uh, the shining uh, part of Trick of China, right? Again on the Rico, making life pretty hard for Dempsey here on this right-hand side of the map and getting a little bit of safe damage early on is a big deal. Queen Eye haven't been able to move up in numbers yet and Dempsey yet again loses that right-hand side matchup. And that forces Menmi into a position where he feels like he has to make a play. His sandbags are still set up on the back line here and he refreshes them, gets the victory against Good Knight here. And Again, the problem with him going down, Teddy, is that he can't use that air superiority to bang out the middle part of the wall and actually create an opening for Dempsey. Yeah, that would be much required for the, for this calm. They need to open things up, and that's a bit uh, of a problem so far. Super is available for Dempsey to try to find an opening. Will be able to get the slow to follow up full on spike shot. A lot of damage coming through to kill as one. Finally, you're calling it out. The wall is opened up, and now there's a chance for Queen Knight to start dealing some more damage. Still behind by 6%, but slowly catching up. And as they have that center control, they should be able to slowly start coming back unless Trick of China are able to defend it off. That was important. Menmi being able to get that damage on towards White. The Rico has been the main issue for Queen Nye. Zoning them back on the right-hand side of the map. And White is now back in the fight, and Kenji very low. Gets pinched between Imp and White. And there's a chance here for Trick of China to come forward. Dempsey doesn't have sticking around yet, so it's just a little bit of damage to put on White and try and keep him honest. But the air superiority already comes in from Trick of China, and both teams' safes are now vulnerable. 20 seconds left, and this is from far the closest game we've had so far in this match. Final countdown starting now, but damage is oh, pouring no. down on that red safe, and all the hopes from Trick of China are starting to die out as Queen Knight is gonna take their fifth game in a row, and now it's a match point situation for Queen Knight. Absolutely.
absolutely devastating for Trick of China. They start the round with a 12% safe damage lead. Yes, admittedly, it's the Rico on the right-hand side of the map that gives him an early advantage. You know, you're winning out against Spike as he, you know, outranges the Spike uh, in that part of the map. But there was a lane swap. All of a sudden, the Colonel Ruffs is playing that right side. Menmi is able to find the elimination on the Rico and using uh, field promotion, right? So you know, there's less of that healing just occurring and you're not really getting nearly as tanky. So much more volatile gameplay. Look at this Menmi. He's so always brimming with confidence, Teddy. All right, quick eliminations already for Queen Nye. And whereas in the previous game, they struggled a bit at first, they will be taking the early lead now. A very interesting comp. I mean, some brawlers we just don't see a whole lot at the moment. Daryl being a, an example, but even more interesting is that need up pick from Kenji. I tell you, they're cheesy, surely. Barrel rolled in from Dempsey, he gets a bit of safe damage. Kenji wants to go as well, but supply drop thrown down behind him. He's able to find the elimination. The bears come in. Oh no, it's gone horribly wrong for Trick of China. This is not supposed to be happening. Look at all that damage. That's almost 50% of that safe help out of the way, just like that. And I mean, they're going to be regretting not defending that barrel better because that is a huge problem for Trick of China because Queen Knight, they're at match point. I'm telling you, you don't expect it because Kenji is running the Hyper Bear star power, not bear with me. So the bear is hitting like way faster and you don't realize that until he's whacking your safe. Trick of China are like, I mean, I don't know how you're supposed to be sort of prepared for uh, this needed pick. I know Ovali is going to be uh, very <laughs> pleased to see this. But I mean, now at this point, all Queen and I need to do is hold the line. The cat's out of the bag about Nita, but that's fine. They've got a comfortable lead. Yeah, they're in a very sweet spot and pressure is starting to rise here for Trick of China. They need this game to be a win. Otherwise, it's the end of their journey in this year's BSC. And so far, it's not exactly going well. Almost 40% uh, oh. lead in favor of Queen Nine. Control is in their favor. Another Hyper Bear. Not Can again. they defend this one off? Not so far. And that's a ton more damage coming through. This should be it. And here you have it. Queen Nine take the 3 0 victory in style with the Nita at the end. I mean, you love to see it. A dominant victory, but. They definitely deserve it. They played really well, Trick of China. They had their ups and downs, but in the end, they just could not stand a chance here against Queen Nine. That might be the first time ever that Fury Swipes has been super effective. <laughs> Absolutely brutal stuff there for, for Queen Nine. Listen, we have seen plenty of teams on, on, on a heist maps that have played like really tanky brawlers, right? And they, they will just try and rush at the enemy safe and just and try and blow it up at close range instantly. You're on match point. It makes perfect sense to, to try and run something a little bit harder to, to predict, right?